we're going to be talking about this a very powerful tool it uses your phone's lidar sensor so the lidar sensor is in the iphone 12 pro and 13 pro if your phone doesn't have a lidar sensor it does something else um, called photogrammetry but actually this isn't the template I wanted. LIDAR stands for light detect wait, light ranging and detection. And so yeah. That's what it stands for. And since the speed of light is constant, it takes a certain time for the light to bounce and come back, I think. And then the phone is like, okay, it took this amount of time. So the object is that far away. And it does that like a hundred times well, I don't know how many times a second, but it does it like a bunch of times and You can do so many cool things with this. So it looks like this when you open it. So these are examples you can use, right? But remember, if you watched the last video, how I was saying, like, these, the resources are the things that can be in the project, and this is just what's in there. Like, the way templates work is even if you delete all this stuff, like, it's still here, pretty much, so it's here for you to use. So just because the example is there, like you don't have to necessarily use it, but this is something that I do. Like, I'll just like delete, the, and definitely you can check these out. These are really cool, but um, so we're just gonna talk about this one for now. And we're gonna talk about this first. So this is like, That's what's causing what you see right here, like the visualization. And we can change these. We'll make a simple PBR like last time. Let's just make it shiny. And then we will go here and change it. First, it looked like this, kind of like staticky, so then I deleted that occluder, and then it, it looked like this. It's just like, turns everything to metal, pretty much. So, that's one thing, right? And then, here's something interesting. Remember, um, this has to do <laughs> with the palm tree picture from last time. So... We're going to go to the palm tree picture. It's under lighting. That's this picture. But what if we change it to the device camera texture? Like, why would you do that? This is why I thought. So that basic, it's basically like a fake reflection, right? So I was thinking, like, maybe the reflection would just look more accurate if it actually used the camera texture. So here's the video with that, what that it looks like. Let me send it. It didn't look like a reflection at all, really, but it's an interesting effect. Um, one way that you could make it look like an actual reflection would be like using the front camera, but you can't, I don't think you can use the front camera and the rear camera at the same time. Like, so I did try that, like, I, I mean, I didn't, tr like, what I did, I'm going to put a video of it, and this isn't in Lens Studio, I did this in Spark AR, but um, it's like a fake reflection, because it, it's like making your eyeball think that, like, you're looking at a horizon line, but in reality, it's the front-facing camera, so it kind of looks like a reflection. And, uh, so... This is another really cool thing you can do. Whenever you put something into the world mesh, this is how you would do that. Um, oops. You want to just say you just want to put the box here, right? We're going to do it in the box again. Um, it's in the wrong spot right now. You want to put it like under this. 
it's so now it's gonna be like very like it's very convincing because of the lidar so let's go to the asset library like some of the thing you can just put anything into the world mesh so it could be a file, like a 3D model that you made yourself, or it can be anything from here. Like, you can use this. I, I did this, uh, like, and another thing I've done is use this. The VFX are really cool to use in there. Like, the magma, some of them aren't 3D. Like, some of them are just 2D pictures. Oh, okay, this is what I'll show you guys. So. On the video right now, you're probably seeing the galaxy stuff. And so this is really cool. OK, so you have this magma, right? So when I first tried this, I, I just made the magma. It's like a magma lens. And in the magma package from the asset library, um, we're going to look at it. Okay, magma resources. So let's look at this. Materials. So there's this this magma PBR. So the first thing I tried was like changing. Remember this, the, like how it looked metal. Like I changed it with this. So like this simple PBR. That's the metal one. You can change it to the magma PBR, and the thing is, it looks kind of blurry, but um, still trying to figure out how to make it less look less blurry. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is like a, a cool way that you could make like a custom material that you would usually have to like know how to do a lot more like coding and stuff. One thing I learned. Okay, this Perlin. Okay, this is one thing too. You can change this picture. Like, if you change this picture, it will change the way the magma looks. And then you can change, like, various things to change the appearance. And somewhere... Okay, so this changes the way it looks, too. So, like, you can change the speed of it, and um, you can change this texture, too. Like, I tried changing it to uh, the device camera, or, like, the media picker. And that it's kind of interesting. Yeah, you can always change it to something from files too. So yeah, you can change all these things to make like kind of custom materials and they're really cool to look at in the world mesh. And all you'd have to do is like this also. It, the way, that if I put this to my phone right now, it wouldn't work because Remember the hierarchical organization? We have to put this underneath. So now it's tracked to this. OK. So pretty much anything. Yeah, so anything you can imagine. You can make a 3D model and bring it in here and is there. And there's also like things you can put in here. So. Use what you know now to just put whatever you want in here. And uh, yeah, like this thing is cool too. You can use this. That makes what whatever your object is kind of like turn to dust. I mean, the possibilities, you can do anything. So let me see what you guys make. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.